Hi there, everybody. I'm uh, Laurie Potter. I'm the operational team lead for one of the mental health support teams. So I cover wave one and wave two, which is uh, Gedling, Rushcliffe, Mansfield and Ashfield. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Becky Burney and I am the operational team lead for wave four of the mental health support teams. Uh, that covers the Broxtow, Bassett Law and Newark and Sherwood localities. So we've just got um, a presentation for you today about our service. So the Nottinghamshire Mental Health Support Teams, there are um, three core functions. So that's delivering evidence-based interventions for children and young people with mild to moderate mental health problems and supporting the senior mental health lead in each education setting to introduce and develop their whole school and college approach which we can talk a little bit more about later, and also giving timely advice to schools and college staff and liaising with external specialist services to help children and young people get the right support and stay in education. We have got a link here um, to our website, which has got more information, and we will send the, these slides over. So when we think a little bit more about the CAMS mental health support team structure, um, there are the our team leads, which is myself and Laurie, um, and also Sarah Kinsey, who is uh, in the job share in the role with Laurie covering wave one and wave two. Um, we, we have admin for the team and we currently have three team secretaries who are covering the service. We have education mental health practitioners, also known as EMHPs. Uh, they can have backgrounds in health and educational roles um, and these staff members may be trainees or qualified staff members um, who have attended local universities um, to complete specific education training which focus, focuses on supporting children and young people in educational settings. We also have uh, our band six specialist practitioners, so they are similar to the role in community CAMS. Uh, those staff members may have a core profession, so it could be nursing, allied health professional or social work, and will often have uh, experience of working with children and young people. We have our band seven cognitive behavioural therapists within the service. They typically have a core qualification, again, could be nursing, uh, social work, um, but they have undertaken further higher education, training and registration in cognitive behavioural therapy. We then also have our Band 7 <clears throat> EMHP CBT supervisors. So they are employed within the service to provide all case management and clinical supervision to all staff within the mental health support team. So across the service, we are currently hosting trainees. Um, they are employed by the Trust, but they are attending different universities. And those currently are Reading, Derby and Sheffield universities as part of their role. And so how are you act as support then with the mental health support team? So um, we've started recently with self-referral. Uh, that's through the single point of access. Um, and referral should always be discussed with the child and parent before being made to the MHST. Uh, our, our sort of preferred way, the way that we encourage referrals is to come by the identified mental health lead in school. And I think that's because we are a collaborative project between education and health. It promotes transparency, um, enables schools to support young people as well as the clinical professionals. And um, so, as I said, the referrals come in via the CAMS spa team, like all referrals into CAMS. They're screened by the supervisors. Um, and screen for suitability for either one-to-one -one work um, or maybe groups. Um, the mental health leads will always be informed of the outcome of the screening. The cases are allocated to either the EMHP, the specialist practitioner or the CBT practitioner within the service. Um, and a, an assessment date is arranged, which is either in school or um, a local health site, or more recently, we're doing um, a real blended approach of um, remote sessions and that's something that's um, happened from the COVID pandemic um, and then we will commence the intervention with the child and young person and the family. So when we're thinking about how uh, the CAMS mental health support team has progressed, um, you'll have heard both Laurie and I talking about waves um, and that's because the project has been implemented in waves. So we have wave one, wave two and wave four. There is no wave three across the county um, just to make things more confusing. <clears throat> 
We are currently collaborating with 112 schools across Nottinghamshire County. Um, the Gedlin, Rushcliffe, Mansfield and Ashfield mental health support team sites, um, again known as Wave 1 and Wave 2, are now fully operational. However, uh, the Wave 4 sites covering Bassett Law, Broxtow, Newark and Sherwood are currently in their training phase of the project and will become currently uh, fully operational from around January, February 2022. Yeah. And we have just been successful for um, future waves as well, which I think is going to be wave six, which is really positive. Um, so how we can help then? So um, the work of the MHST clinicians is designed to be early intervention um, and it's very much CBT informed practice. Um, so as I've already said, that, that we can support parents, the child directly, um, and it's a, it's a mixture of either one-to-one -one direct work or group work. Um, MHST staff will support um, children and young people, typically who have either been experiencing worry, low mood, emotional regulation issues, exam stress, sleep, behaviour difficulties. The list is quite vast. We are very inclusive um, with it being early intervention. Our specialist practitioners they also work um, a little bit more systemically and the CBT practitioners uh, may work with um, sort of more specific needs such as phobias, panic, fear, obsessive behaviours um, as they have got more extensive training and experience. Um, we do parent group delivery that's based on the Incredible Years programme and we also do other parent groups such as managing anxiety in children. We do some more sort of health promotion groups for parents um, that we'll talk about a little bit later on um, that we've been delivering remotely uh, recently. And they, they include um, general sort of mental health updates for parents um, and sleep. So uh, again, just picking up where Laurie left off around the mental health support and group provision. So all the groups are available to children and young people and parents or carers who are referred into our team for an assessment. At assessment, our clinicians will ascertain if a group is suitable for the child or young person, parent or carer, or whether individual work would be the preferred option due to the level of need or circumstances for that child or family at that time. Um, it's really important to us that the referrals into the team specify whether the child or young person, parent or carer would be suitable for a group if possible. This just really ensures that when we screen in uh, those referrals that we can address the needs of the child and young person as quickly as possible. All groups and workshops have been developed by mental health support team staff and are tailored to specific age groups and needs. Some of those workshops may last around 60 minutes, whereas some of the groups uh, will deliver treatment on a sessional basis and will, uh, you know, sort of adhere to clinical guidance around that. So it would be more longer uh, in duration than the workshops. Um, here are just a few examples of our groups and workshops. Um, I won't read through them all, but again, as Becky said, we tend to do uh, sessional uh, groups where there is an identified need um, with a parent, young person, um, and we tend to do more health promotion based workshops um, that are um, targeted for all parents, so very much more um, sort of part of the whole school approach. Uh, we also do workshops for staff. Lovely. Thanks, Laurie. Um, part of our um, a major part of our role as well is looking at whole school approach um, this is really important when we're delivering early intervention um, there's quite a list there but this isn't limited to so we, we do offer a lot of whole school approach interventions everything from assemblies to promote mental health and well-being um, from workshops again as we've we spoke about before um, implemented to local area need but also it's really important to keep those well children well uh, we support to carry out mental health audits uh, this allows us to identify a need for a mental health support team referral at an earlier age, uh, stage um, <clears throat> but it also supports supports us with developing a baseline of mental health uh, within those schools uh, so that we've got that that data set as well to work from. Again, as Laurie says, staff wellbeing um, using virtual platforms helps us to reach uh, wider, um, developing practical steps to manage wellbeing. Uh, we're really strong believers that we can't have um, mentally healthy children and young people if we haven't got mentally healthy staff within those schools. So that's really important. 
parent workshops. Again, these can be large workshops, particularly with our uh, virtual platforms that we use in and is focused on mental health awareness and wellbeing for parents as well. Again, same principle applies to them. They need to be mentally well and have an awareness around mental health in order to support their children and young people. We have our mental health lead networks. These are fortnightly and these are for teachers from each locality to meet with clinicians and leads within the teams. Uh, we can troubleshoot and discuss cases for referral, along with opportunities for training uh, and spaces to share good practice. This has uh, been acknowledged nationally as well as an example of good practice, what we're doing here in Nottinghamshire. So that's something we're quite proud about. And um, in the operational ways in wave one and wave two, we're currently piloting um, promotion of self-referral from children and young people. And it's hoped that over time uh, we'll be able to do this alongside the healthy family teams to promote that joint working and build on existing services as well. So that's the end of our presentation. Um, if you've got any questions, then uh, feel free to drop us an email. Uh, we're available on Global. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks, everyone.